Hi, I'm Martin Purdy. I bought Yeti Smart Bench back in July 2021 and I started my own business called Gifts and Wood. Seeing as I'm a local guy, they've asked if I'll come in and share some videos with you guys of different projects. These projects you can follow along and make for yourself. Let's get started. Right, cut. Come on then, let's do it again. From the top. Hello everybody, happy new year and welcome back in 2023. With the first project for this year we're gonna look at is a flight case for your upper and lower X-beam. We're gonna be using 12 millimeter birch ply for this particular project. And we're gonna add some extras in regards to some flight case handles. And we're also gonna add some wheels at the bottom for easy transportability. And we're gonna add some clips then. It's gonna be a very similar construction to the Z-head project where you can have a top part that comes off of your box for you to load all your goods, and then that can all clip down into place. In this project, we're gonna be using a singular piece of foam, which comes with your upper and lower X-beam when you buy it in the cardboard box. If you've got rid of your foam and you need to source a new piece, if you contact sales at yetitool.com, we can arrange that for you to be sent out. Okay, so before we get started with the cutting, if you'd like to follow me over to the laptop, and we'll have a quick overview of the file then on Bcarve Pro. So here's our box. Um, this is sheet one where I worked out the boxes. Um, and on sheet two then you can see we have the top, the bottom, and one of the sides. We also have both the ends with the handle holes, the apertures for the wheels. And then these are the smaller boxes which is gonna be used to hold the top part of the X-beam. And on the second sheet then we have the other side and all of the lid strips all of the little internal packers and the plates then to hold our X-beams down. Nice and simply then. So let's go over to the machine where I've got the files loaded and we can start cutting. Okay, so now we have our stock loaded and it's all secured down to the spore board. We're gonna load the spindle and I'm gonna set my X, Y and Z datums. The file's already loaded to the console, so we're just ready to press go once all of that's done. So for this particular project, we're gonna be using a two flute five millimeter compression bit supplied by Rennie Tools. And this is gonna work as the bottom part is an up cut and the top part of the cutter is a down cut. So that should give us a nice quality finish on both top and bottom of our project. Okay, so that is the first sheet cut. So this has taken an hour and a half now to cut all of these components. We've gone over with the orbital sander just to clean the surface and just clean any of the little fuzzies off the edges. Um, this is the main of our flight case. We do have one more sheet to cut to finish all the components we need, but this is gonna be effectively um, the base, the two sides, the two ends with the relief cut out for the handles. Um, and we've cut two lots of internal boxes, which is gonna be used then to hold the upper part of the X-beam into the base of the flight case. So we're just gonna use a multi-tool now and go around and relieve these parts from this sheet. And then I'll use a quarter inch router and just gently take away the excess of these tabs. At that point, we're ready to start fitting this to make sure it's spot on. And we can load the second sheet and get cutting. Remember guys, as always, a clean workspace is a happy workspace. Okay, so this is the stage where we're at so far. So we've cut the first sheet and we've assembled the ends to the base and the one of the sides. Now in reflection, I put the lid onto the first sheet and it should have actually been the second side, but that's not an issue. I can place this lid to one side and on the second sheet, we'll get this second side cut. Now what it did actually give me was an opportunity to access all inside of the box to do the internal works rather than trying to work over the top of it. So it's not all bad. We've got the lids cut for the internal boxes and on the second sheet, we're gonna have the plates then that sit over and fix the upper part of the X-beam to the flight case itself. Um, so we're just about ready to cut those. So next step is to get the second sheet of stock loaded onto the smart bench. The file is already on the console, so we're gonna press go and get the next bit cut.
Okay, so there you have it. We've got this box fully assembled and all of the joints glued, everything fitting together really nicely. We've gone around and we've sanded off any excess remnants of any glue um, and just, you know, made the joints nice and smooth. The next step is gonna be separating the lid from the main part of this box body. Now, I've chosen to go around with a rail saw, um, a plunge saw, and just trim that away. However, exactly the same as in the Z head uh, project, you could use a hand saw if you had to, a jigsaw, a circular saw, you don't necessarily need any specific tooling. Um, it's just worth mentioning as well, we created these inside gussets, which is gonna hold the upper part of the X-beam inside the flight case. I've actually added some ribs to sit on the inside, which is gonna create a space in here for the split nuts and the washers to sit. Okay, this is gonna be added to the file, but I've just super glued these on just so they're in place. And as it sits there, it's gonna create this nice cavity underneath then for, for the extra accessories. All right, so I'm gonna roll this over now and we're gonna go around this perimeter now and just cut away and expose our lid away from the main case. Okay, so now we've got our lid fitted back on our box. We've secured those extra little stretchers on the inside of the lid, so it all sits nice and flush and adds plenty of support. So we're gonna go around now and we're gonna drill some holes and nut and bolt our flight case handles into place. And we're also gonna use some nuts and bolts and some self-tapping screws then to fix the transportation wheels. And the last thing would be then is to fit these nice little clips. And that's effectively the main box assembled and finished. We'll then go ahead and we'll drop the lower and upper part of the X-beam into the flight case, fix it all together, and this is a project all done and dusted. There you go, folks. This is your flight case for your lower and upper part of your X-beam. I hope you've enjoyed watching this build. If you'd like to see how we designed this file, there's a link to the full tutorial in the description below. Um, also, if you'd just like to go ahead and start cutting, there is gonna be a link in the description below that will take you to the Yeti website where you can download all the files and all the information required to do this build. If you have any ideas of what you'd like us to make, please feel free to comment below. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>